What's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, got another video here today. Uh, we got something special. We are going to do a simple and easy uh, protein pancake. Um, and we are going to do that with our protein powder. So one, this is going to be low carb. Uh, two, we're going to keep the sugar down low and uh, keep the flavor up high. So for this one, you're going to need whatever favorite protein powder you have, whether it's vanilla, whether it's chocolate, strawberry, whatever you got. Um, but if you don't have any protein powder, check out our website. This is our Catalyst Protein Powder that we make for you guys. Um, check out our website and you will be able to find it along with other products that we sell. But, like I said, we are going to make the protein pancakes. So just out of these small ingredients, we are going to make a breakfast or after um, kind of workout meal if you're kind of craving something sweet just to kick it. Um, so let's go ahead and gather all our ingredients and let's get cooking. Alright guys, so like I said, we're going to keep this one low carb, um, so we're not going to use any flour whatsoever. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do, the base for it is going to be the protein powder. So we're going to go with one scoop. <clears throat> we want about 30 to 40 grams. Um, usually the two scoops are about 30 grams. Um, so I went with a full scoop, and then I'm just going to grab a little extra. Uh, if you're not precise, it'll be totally fine. It's not going to throw it off too much. Um, but we're going to throw the protein powder in there and then we are going with one fourth teaspoon of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and then we are going to go with one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. Uh, so since we have all the dry ingredients there, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put my banana in there. Uh, and that one can just go ahead and sit in there. We're going to mash it all together here real soon. And what else I have here is the orange. This one is optional, uh, just in case you're not a big fan of orange or citrus fruit. Uh, we're going to just grate a little bit over, just to kind of give it one, a little extra freshness and some other flavor, uh, just that orange essential. Uh, next thing that we're going to do, we're coming over, we got two eggs. We are actually going to separate these eggs. I want the egg whites in this bowl. And then I'm going to put the egg yolk inside. Same thing with the other egg. Crack it. Don't destroy it because we do want to separate the egg. And once we get it separated, pour. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all this to the side. And I'm going to focus on these egg whites. So what you're going to do is we are going to beat these eggs until they're stiff, kind of stiff enough and get the white beets, because this is what's going to help those pancakes rise when we cook them. So go ahead and mash this, and I'm going to whisk this, and I'm going to come back when it's ready to uh, come together. Alright guys, so we got everything mixed. Um, this is what kind of consistency you want from the banana and all the protein powder and the dried ingredients. Um, if there's chunks in there, that is okay. Uh, I kind of like the chunks in it, um, so it's totally fine with me. If you want to mash it down a little bit more, you totally can. The next is we're going to add the egg whites in. And you want it to kind of float on top. Um, that way we have all those air bubbles, because like I said, that's what's going to help make it rise along with the baking powder. Um, and then we're just going to kind of fold everything in together. So all I'm doing is cutting one stroke down the middle, rotating the bowl, so I'm cutting down the middle, rotating and folding everything in together. So that way we don't just destroy all those egg whites that we just kind of whisked up. And for those, you can either do it uh, with a hand blender, by hand, with a whisk, however you prefer. Um, totally does not matter. But while you are finishing stirring this up, go ahead and get your pan on the heat. I got mine over there ready to go because as soon as you're done mixing it, these pancakes will be ready to go. So when we throw these on the grill, we will come back. On to our very final step. Uh, so I got the batter mixed and ready to go. It's gonna look something like this. Um, if you like yours a little bit more thick, you can either add a little bit more protein powder in there or maybe a tablespoon or two of flour just to bring it together a little bit more. But when I got my grill hot, and what I'm going to do is I'm spraying it with just a little bit of coconut oil. You can use whatever kind of spray you want. I'm trying to avoid butters and things like that. Um, but I'm not too big of an oil or an olive oil fan. 
in my pancakes, so I'm going with coconut oil. So I'm just gonna spray a nice little layer on there. I'm gonna grab my ladle, grab my batter, and I'm gonna pour out a little pancake. And you can make these out to whatever size you want. I'm just gonna do a little medallions. So I'm gonna have these bad boys sit there. I'm gonna let them cook, and I'll come back when I'm ready to flip them. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip these. Uh, so just any special you got, flip them, let them fluff back up. And these are not gonna be like your regular flapjack pancakes that rise real high, get real tall. These are gonna be a little bit thinner. So all we're gonna do is let those sit at a time. And I know what you're thinking. We're really just making pancakes. No, I'm gonna show you a couple ways that you can elevate these pancakes a little bit more to bring that taste up while trying to keep those calories down and trying to keep it healthy with all. Because um, I know that you guys are thinking you probably grab your sugar-free syrup and you're thinking it's good because you read the back of that label, but really all those added chemicals, those are the type of things we don't want. So I'm gonna show you how to keep it fresh. So we'll go ahead and let these cook all the way. I'm gonna show you how to put everything here. All right guys, so like I said, we're finished making the pancakes and um, we're gonna elevate them just a little bit more. Um, you can do these however you want. You can put whatever you'd like on them, but I'm gonna show you a couple ways to how I like to eat them. Uh, so the first one that we're gonna do is we are gonna do a nut and honey topping. Uh, so all I do is I have a bag of mixed nuts right here. Um, and I'm just gonna crush them a little bit, press all the air out of it, kind of get the nuts to one corner. And all we're gonna do is You got anything kind of kind of that sturdy kind of smash one, that's all you're gonna need. We're just gonna open these up, grab a handful, spread them around, and then we are gonna top these with just a little bit of honey. Not trying to go too crazy, but just something to add a little more extra sweetness. So there's the first one. The next one that we are gonna do. We are gonna do a strawberry jam. And we are gonna make sure we don't get too heavy on these. We're just gonna take a little bit of jam and try to spread it out as much as we can. If you need a little bit more, go ahead. No man left behind. So I'm gonna grab this bottom one, give him a little extra smear so that way he has it. And then we are gonna to top these off with just a little bit of blueberry. And if you want, you can put more bananas on it, you can put strawberries on it, you can finish it off however you'd like. But these are just a couple ways that I like to do it and I like to do it. Guys, hopefully you liked this video and found it helpful. Um, as you can tell, the pancakes were a big hit in the house. They were really good. Um, like I said, you can make them however you like. Try them for breakfast, try them for an after workout snack when you're feeling something sweet. Um, and make sure, go check out our Catalyst website. Go see where our protein's like, um, sign up for a free workout, we're there, call, uh, whatever you gotta do. Thank you so much for watching the video, like, share, subscribe.